Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to look at how the US EMEs unfolded yesterday, which was the 17th of December. This is a very interesting day because it's the day after the Fed announced their um, interest rate hike of 0.25%. You can see this is where the Fed made the announcement. The market spiked down, spiked up, retraced a bit and then started to rally for the rest of the day on the 16th. So I'd like to see what MT Predictor made of this and actually see um, where the or where the rally after the Fed um, rate hike was likely to go to. So how do we do this? Well as usual we go to the higher time frame chart. So from a 3 minute chart we go out to the 15 minute chart. Now from the 15 minute chart we project our DPs on the chart. Remember these are leading indicators. They're on the chart in advance before the market gets there. So let's take training mode. Let's jump and jump back to just after the, the Fed uh, rate hike when the market was chopping around on the 16th of December. So where was the market like to go to? Well we place a DP on the chart. For that we go back to the last uh, significant uh, uh, pivot high and as you can see we had a TS3 sell here so this was a fairly significant pivot so we go back to this right mouse click place DP on that gave us a resistance area up on the market here in advance now I want to just state that again is that this was on the chart in advance it was there before the market got there so let's turn trading mode off and let's see what happened after that well as you can see the market started to rally this, or can I say started, it carried on rallying in the balance of uh, the day of the 16th. It rallied, it rallied, it rallied, but look where it rallied to, right into our DP target. Then what happened yesterday? Well, it's poked its head just a little bit higher and then started to decline. Where did it decline to? Well, it was declining down sharply into the DP off the prior swing, which obviously is this swing up here in, from this low. Again, remember, these are on the chart in advance. So as you can see, in advance we managed to project the resistance level where the market was likely to make a high after that rally after the interest rate hike. So of course the rest of the day yesterday, the major or the 15 minute trend was down. So let's have a look at the short term 3 minute signals. You can see there catching the high of the day absolutely perfectly, going all the way down nicely. And on the ES we only had buy setups. Can you see that? We had buy setups. So these buy setups were against the large degree trend. So therefore they would have been avoided. Let's have a look at the YM. Again, let's go out to the 15 minute chart. There's our TS3 high. Remember this DP could have been placed on the chart in advance. And look what happened yesterday. The market went up into that and made a high and the market declined yesterday. Where did it decline to? Well again, we go back to the last pivot low which was there right mouse click place our DP on again remember that's on the chart in advance that's before the market even gets there so the 15 minute trend is down let's have a look at our short short term three minutes um, setups largely trend was down we actually had a TS3 sell here let's right mouse click place the analysis on this was a bit frustrating because even though it reached the um, final target it would have been stopped out beforehand so there's a case of whether you'd have kept your stop above the high and stopped out. If you would have been, it would have been a minus one R loss. Or once the market got down to the DP from the wave below, which you can see is here, this is what we teach. This is an area where the market is likely to make a, uh, a minor low. At that point in time, you're sitting on 3.6 R. You may well have brought your stop to break even. That's what we normally teach. So let's take a worst case scenario and said you would have been a minus one R loss but in reality you'd have probably been a break even trade. TS1 buy setup was against the large degree downtrend so you wouldn't have taken this. Let's go down to the NQ. Same setup we had here on the ES. Remember large degree trend down. As with the ES, sorry ES, I mean the YM. As with the YM it didn't reach its first target. As with the YM it did hit <coughs> um, the DP from the prior wave, uh, wave B, but of course you wouldn't have been in both the ES and the NQ because they unfold at the same time, that would be doubling up on your risk. So you'd have either been one or the other. This buy setup here you'd have avoided. But what was interesting on the, uh, the NQ was if you were following the five minute chart as well, which obviously we suggest you do, we actually had two other 
cell setups here. This first one would have been a minus 1R loss. So let's note that down, minus 1R. So you could have had minus 1R loss from your ES chart, um, sorry, the YM chart, and minus uh, 1R so far on the uh, NQ. But then what happened next? We had another TS3 cell. Again, remember, largely trend is down. Let's go to the analysis here. Market comes down, and then just look at the profit on this trade. This is what's so good about position sizing. Even though you could have made two losing trades already, this third trade made plus 8R. If we go to the STF, the STF wasn't quite strong, so it would have been nice if you could have held this into the close. It would have been uh, 13R if, you, if you'd gone down there. But again, let's just take a worst case scenario. It's always better to be slightly conservative uh, with, your, uh, with your analysis. Um, another option users may have done is just trail at the one bar high, which again would have held you into close, which would have been up at the 13R. As I've said, let's take a worst case scenario and say you came out at this target at plus 8R. So that's the good thing. So you'd have had two losing trades, minus one and minus one, one profitable trade at plus eight. That means you would have made money overall. In fact, actually a very, very nice trade indeed. But of course, the thing I really wanted to stress was how we managed to catch the highs there in advance on our main market, which was the ES and the YM very nicely. Just want to skip by the 15 minute uh, chart on the, uh, on the NQ. That wasn't quite as clear. Whoops, so I just want to put the DP on. And it hadn't reached the DP, but it had made a double top there with that TS3 uh, high there. And of course, bearing in mind that the ES was at its 15 minute DP, the YM was at its 15 minute DP, and the NQ was at a double top. Therefore, having a large retrend as being down was, uh, was okay as well. Let's place the DP off that low. That would have been your large degree uh, support zone. And as you can see, we didn't, um, we didn't reach that. There was a large degree support zone. We didn't reach that. Sorry, it's the five minute chart we we're looking at, wasn't it? We didn't reach that on the five minute chart. So again, that might have been another reason why you may have been holding, in, uh, holding into the close for slightly higher profit. But either way, a very good day for MT Predictor yesterday with a very nice um, TS3 sell on the five minute NQ. But the main point of the video was just showing how using the 15 minute chart, which is what we do for our large degree trend, we anticipated in advance the area where the market was likely to find resistance. And that was particularly relevant because the market rallied after the uh, Fed rate uh, hike of 0.25% on the 16th. So some users may, or some um, normal traders may have been anticipating the market was going to go a lot higher, but MT predictor users would have known that they had that DP resistance on the chart in advance there, and therefore were anticipating that to be a resistance area. So once the market hit that, we're then anticipating the market was then going to decline and decline into the DP from that pre previous uh, low there. So yesterday's decline and the high at that 15 minute DP would have come as no surprise. So this is why I wanted to do the video today to show you how MT predictor tools can be used on the chart in advance, particularly our DPs that give you leading indicator or leading areas of support and resistance, which as you can see, certainly helped you yesterday and nailing the high in the US markets and catching that nice decline.